Hi, my name is Micah O'Halloran. I'm a design section leader for mixed signal products at Linear Technology. Today I'll be discussing the LTC 2348-18, our latest high resolution simultaneous sampling successive approximation register analog to digital converter, or SAR ADC. This ADC is capable of simultaneously sampling eight high voltage input signals and digitizing them to 18-bit resolution at a rate of 200,000 samples per second on all channels. Before exploring some of the unique features that make this converter flexible and easy to use, let's briefly review the difference between simultaneous sampling and multiplex sampling data converters. The goal of both simultaneous and multiplex sampling data converters is to produce digital representations of two or more real-world analog variables. Let's compare digitizing three typical process variables, a motor excitation voltage, a pressure sensor signal, and a fluid flow sensor signal using a simultaneous sampling converter shown in the top plot and a multiplex converter shown in the bottom plot. The vertical gray lines labeled S1 through S9 represent converter sampling moments. The black circles represent digitized samples recorded from a particular waveform at the sampling moment. For this example, the sample rates have been chosen to equalize the total number of digitized samples per unit time, or throughput, of the two converters. Comparing the two cases, the simultaneous converter samples and digitizes all three signals at each sampling moment, while the multiplex converter can only sample and digitize one signal at a time. As a result, simultaneous sampling converters are typically employed in applications where capturing time domain and correlation or frequency domain phase relationships across multiple signals is important. Multiplex sampling converters tend to be used in applications where tracking timing correlation across multiple signals is less important. The LTC 2348-18 can simultaneously digitize eight channels of differential high voltage signals. Here, the word differential means that each channel measures the voltage difference between a positive and a negative input pin. Four channels of differential signals are shown, with the positive pin signal shown in red and negative pin signal shown in blue. The LTC 2348-18 accepts all standard high voltage signal swing formats. Uniquely, it can also directly digitize arbitrary swing signals, where a channel's positive and negative input pins swing arbitrarily with respect to each other. Let's take a look inside the converter to see how it works. During acquisition, eight dedicated sample and hold blocks track the voltage difference between each channel's positive and negative input pins. When the user initiates a conversion, these blocks sample and hold the instantaneous differential voltage on each channel. An internal multiplexer then sequentially transfers the samples to a shared high-performance SAR ADC, which digitizes them to 18-bit resolution. Once all samples have been digitized, the conversion results are available via a pin-selectable SPI CMOS or serial LVDS interface. The serial interface allows for independent softspan control of each channel's full-scale input range and includes the ability to disable selected channels. Softspan settings may be updated every conversion with no settling or throughput penalties. Using the internal reference and gain of two reference buffer, seven softspan ranges are available, targeting the industry standard plus or minus 10 volt, plus or minus 5 volt, 0 to 10 volt, and 0 to 5 volt ranges. Other full scale analog input ranges are also achievable using an external reference. When it comes to performance, the LTC 2348 18 delivers superb linearity, noise, DC precision, common mode rejection ratio, and active crosstalk. This integral nonlinearity plot shows the typical error, excluding offset and gain errors, between the code the LTC 2348-18 outputs for a given differential input voltage and the code an ideal converter would output. The linearity error of all channels is under plus or minus one LSB, or about plus or minus 75 microvolts, over the entire plus or minus 10.24 volt input range. Beyond raw performance, the LTC 2348-18 is designed to be flexible and easy to use. Let's take a moment to look at some of the device's unique capabilities. The converter's analog inputs are differential with wide input common mode range. Simply translated, 
The positive and negative input pins are allowed to swing with an arbitrary relationship to each other. To visualize the benefit in your application, you can picture using the converter to measure time varying voltage differences between any two points in your system in much the same way you use a standard benchtop voltmeter to measure DC voltage differences. This can greatly simplify the signal conditioning required between your signals and the converter. To demonstrate, let's measure the differential voltage between a 2 kHz sine wave and a 3.1 kHz sine wave by applying these signals to the positive and negative inputs of a single channel of the LTC 2348-18. Across many samples, these signals sweep the inputs across a wide range of instantaneous common mode and differential mode voltage combinations, similar to the more general arbitrary input signal case. An ideal differential converter with no common mode sensitivity will digitize the signals as two spectral tones, one at each sine wave frequency. This fast Fourier transform, or FFT, plot demonstrates the LTC 2348-18 response with 119 dB of spurious free dynamic range, limited by the converter's second harmonic distortion response to the 3.1 kHz sine wave. This next application solution digitizes a small plus or minus 500 millivolt differential sensor signal riding on top of a large 0 to 24 volt common mode interference. A differential gain of 10 stage amplifies the sensor swing to plus or minus 5 volts at the converter inputs for improved SNR but passes the common mode signal one for one. The converter's common mode rejection ratio, or CMRR, is responsible for rejecting this unwanted portion of the signal. Notice the flexible high voltage supplies of the LTC 2348-18 are shifted upwards to accommodate this application's input range. Also note the common mode input range extends beyond the chosen softspan full scale input range. As shown in the plots, Measured CMRR performance of this solution is competitive with the best commercially available instrumentation amplifiers. The solution achieves a 90 dB signal to noise ratio and minus 116 dB total harmonic distortion at 2 kHz. Finally, let's shift gears and briefly discuss the LTC 2348-18 digital interface. In CMOS mode, applications may employ 1 to 8 lanes of serial data output allowing the user to optimize bus width and throughput. Conversion results from all input channels are available on every SDO lane, so no device configuration is necessary. An optional phase-aligned data capture clock is also provided. This may be used to capture data at the receiver for added robustness to logic delay variations over supply and temperature. The CMOS interface features one serial data input line for configuring each channel's soft span range. In LVDS mode, a single lane of serial data output provides conversion results for all input channels. A phase-aligned data capture clock is provided for capturing output data at the receiver. The interface features one serial data input lane for configuring each channel's soft span range. LVDS signaling is particularly beneficial in applications requiring longer communication distances and lower emission of electromagnetic interference. The single lane LVDS interface supports the full rated device throughput of 200,000 samples per second per channel. In conclusion, the LTC 2348-18 offers a unique blend of analog and digital features that ensure flexibility and ease of use. Its simple interface, coupled with superb performance, provides an ideal solution for your next high voltage simultaneous sampling application. For more information, please visit us at linear.com. Thank you for watching.